Hello guys, it is me, BennyJ23 here, and today I'm going to be doing a updated Sonic Plush collection. Now, it's kind of been a long time since I've done one. I think it was in like January or... I don't really know the month, but just check it out on my channel, you can see it. But yeah, I thought I'd do a new updated one since I've made a lot. And when I mean a lot, I mean... Holy cow. Why do I do this to myself? I'm just joking. Yeah, but anyway, we're getting into the Sonic... <coughs> I mean, we're gonna be getting into the Sonic Plush Collection. The first plush we have is my Toy Factory Sonic Plush. My first ever Sonic Plush. And I still love them to this day. Next, we have this um, Jack Specific... Sonic plush, really nice. I think he was like my second one. I'm not too sure. Maybe my third. Yeah, he was my third. So there he goes. Next up, we got this awful, disgusting Sonic Zoom Zoom that I tried making a long time ago, and it is just awful. I hate it so much. I wish I could destroy it, but part of the collection so I have to include it there you go next up we have a gem in my collection my first ever attempt at making a modern Sonic plush he's pretty good he was originally the Sonic X one that Sonic and friends use although he looks nothing like it so he's just a, he's just a Sonic plush next up we got GE 2016 Sonic this is a really nice plush. I'm glad I have him. Next up, we got GE Classic Sonic. Very nice indeed. Next up, we have a gem in this collection, the Caltoy Classic Sonic. I love this guy. Next up, we got the current Sonic of the channel, the 2012 Sene Sonic plush I made. <laughs> Next up, we got the Kid Robot. Funny Sonic. And oh boy, this guy's a bit of a mess, but whatever. He's going at it. Next up, we got the Tomy Modern Sonic Flush. Sorry. Um, he looks really nice. I like this guy. Next up, we got the, one of the most rare plushies in all of Sonic history that I made. The GE Sonic X Sonic Plush. Holy crap! Why are people selling them for over $100 on eBay? My gosh. Alright, I moved over here now. So basically, the next Sonic Plush I have is the Tomy, the Tomy Sonic Boom Sonic Plush. I like him. Next up, we got the Jazzwares Classic Sonic Plush. Amazing. <sighs> okay, the next plush is a bootleg. It's a Sonic.exe plush I made just for ripping off these stupid bootlegs. I absolutely hate this guy. He's stupid. And, and just... <sighs> next up, we got the probably the best, worst Sonic plush. The Play-by-Play -play Sonic <laughs> from 2001. I don't know how this guy got manufactured, but I'm so glad that he did, because this guy is an absolute gem, and you cannot say no, because if you do, you're lying, because this guy is just beautiful. He's goofy as heck, but that adds to his charm. Next up, we got Kelly Toy Sonic. I actually use this guy in Classic Sonic Breaks His Leg, so... Go watch that video. Next up, we got the smaller Toy Factory Sonic. This one isn't as big, but whatever. Next up, we got Tomy Classic Sonic. Really like this guy. Next up, we got the first Toy Network plush I have. Sonic. Got cardboard eyes. Can't hear it, but it's cardboard. So yeah. 
Next up, we got Jack Specific Modern Sonic. Crap. Next up, we got Jazz Wears Big Sonic. He's pretty cool. I like him. I'm glad. I mean, I'm unhappy. I'm glad. Unhappy that Jazz Wears lost their Sonic license. They made such good plushies and figures. I wish they had the license back. Next up, we got the bigger toy network Sonic plush. Uh, he has foam eyes. Change the cardboard ones, and I do not regret it. Next up, we got the Tomy 25th anniversary Sonic plush. I made him out of sparkly foam. And one thing that I don't really like is that there's so many holes. Foam doesn't stay together with hot glue. So I'm probably going to have to glue this guy back together a lot. And I usually keep him in this bag because usually that type of sparkly foam can get on some of the other plush. So I just, you know, keep him in a bag so that it doesn't get everywhere. Next up we got the smaller Jazzwear Sonic. It doesn't look that derpy, which is pretty good. Next up we got the new GE Sonic. Um, this is the 2021 release and it's based off the Sonic X one. Although it isn't branded as Sonic X, so... Whatever. Next up we got Super Sonic by GE. This guy is super cool. Next up we got one of the first ever released Sonic plushies. Stringy Sonic! Yes, he is the Sega Sonic UFO Capture Sonic. And he even has a tag. I don't really do tags on plush, but hey, he's special. Next up we got Tommy Classic Super Sonic. Really nice plush. And that are all the Sonic plushies. Not too bad. Now it's time for Tails. The first one I have is the GE Classic Tails plush. Jazz wears smaller tails. Jazz wears big tails. And one of the biggest tails plushies I own. Next up we got Jack Specific Tails. I don't get why so many people hate him. He's not a bad plush. So, guys, please stop hating on this guy. Haters aren't cool. Next up, we got my first ever Tails plush. The Toy Factory Tails plush. It's really nice. Next up, we have the Toy Factory Tails plush. The GE Sonic X Tails plush. Wow, this guy looks really cool. Uh, he suffered a little bit of a tragedy recently. There's a little bit of marker on his hand is on, but that's fine. I need to rub it off. Next up, we got Tony Boom Tails. His pupils, you know, but that's fine. I can just do it back on. Next up, we got the Tony Classic Tails plush. Why is the Tony Classic Sonic and Tails plush is based off the GB ones? I must know why. Next up, we have the old 2012 Sine Tails plush. The new 2012 um, Sine Sonic Tails plush. Um, yeah, I remade them because the old one is getting old. Next up, we have Bootleg Tails. I'm planning to make like a character on this plush called Clone Tails. Or you just like, 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 like whatever. Yeah, this guy isn't the best in quality, but whatever. Okay, I forgot a Sonic. This is my first ever um, Super Sonic plush, and I completely forgot about him. I was a Tails. Crap. Next up, we got the new GE Tails plush. I really like him. Next up, we got Caltoy Tails. And I think this is the last Tails plush I have. But cool. Nice. That is all the tails. Pretty, pretty, pretty decent section. Here he comes. Rougher than the rest of them. The best of them. Tougher than leather. It's this bad GE classic knuckles I made. Yeah, this is the first one I made, and he, he's okay for the first trying, but I could do better now. That brings us into the new. The newer GE, 
classic knuckles. I'm happy with them. So yeah, that's good. Next up we got the first GE Sonic X Knuckles I tried making. He's okay for what he was, but again I could do better. So that brings us into the newer Sonic X GE Knuckles plush. Man, this guy is amazing. I would highly recommend him. Next up we got the new GE Knuckles plush. I'm glad they released the modern one. Because the Sonic X one was so rare. Thank you, GE. Next up, we have the first ever Knuckles plush I made. Um, he isn't based off like any sort of Knuckles plush. It's just a custom one that isn't based off any sort of company's one. But he's fine. Next up, we got my very, very, very first Knuckles plush I made with my gram. He's nice, and he has that charm with him. Next up, we have Tommy Sonic Boom Knuckles. Very nice indeed. Next up we have Kelly Toy Knuckles. I made this guy out of pure boredom and it's Kelly Toy Knuckles. And finally, the last Knuckles book for this collection. For the whole collection itself, not just Knuckles collection, but the whole Sonic collection itself. Probably one of the rarest plushies I've ever made into a plush. The 2012 Sene. Nope. This guy is definitely not a mistake. He is an absolute shad. If you disagree, you are lying because this guy is so rare and everyone wants him. So, yeah. I knuckles, I chuckle. Okay, that right there is all the knuckles plushies. Pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Alright, now we're doing a so we have the GE Classic Amy. Pretty nice, pretty nice. And then we also have the Toy Network Amy. Pretty nice. I'm gonna get some more Amy's because I'm gonna pick up these. That isn't enough. Yeah. Alright, now we're gonna be doing shadow because why not have a few shadow questions. So first up we have this GE Sonic Shadow. Pretty nice. I um, fixed the material on his leg because he was kind of like ripping. Let's fix that. Nice. Next up we have Toy Network Shadow. Really nice, really nice. Really nice. Next up we got this first ever shadow plush I made. I don't like him. Next up we got the Jack Pacific Shadow Plush. Next up we got Sine Shadow. And then the newer one, which is bigger. Not too bad. Next up we got the GE Sonic X Shadow. Really nice. And finally, we have the GE Super Shadow Plush. He's not the peachy color he's supposed to be, but whatever. I don't have that color, so whatever. Shadows. Now we're gonna go on to the villains. So the first villain we have is Eggman. So here is the G classic Eggman. The play-by-play. -play. No, no, not the play-by-play. -play. The Sonic X UFO Catcher Volume Two Eggman plush. I don't know why I said play by play. He's not made by that company. But yeah, he's no longer gonna be the Eggman of the channel because he's um, starting to wear and like, get dirty and stuff. So I'm gonna get the GE Modern one. So yeah. Next up, we got GE Metal Sonic. Jazz wears Metal Sonic. And finally, Tails. His antenna is um, made of part so you can bend it. It's nice. And those are all the villains. So now we're going to move on to the last plus the whole collection. The last plus for this whole collection is GE Silver. Oh boy, this guy is amazing. Get that out of the way. Sonic Push Collection is finally complete.
Goodbye, people.